Hello my beautiful friends, welcome to another video. My name is Julia and I make videos about well-being, health, plant-based food and now I'm just about to have my very first baby therefore we're stepping into the realm of motherhood and in this case preparation for birth. So what I thought I would do is take you through how I'm preparing, what I'm packing, um, tell you a little bit more about my plan for the actual birth because it will put things into context and into perspective and yeah have a little bit of a chat about it all. To start with um, I'm currently in temporary accommodation as you may know um, if you've watched previous videos. I have moved to London and we're just about to wait for our flat to become available for us to move into so right now we're renting in the meantime um, a short-term solution until our home is ready you know the timings kind of didn't really work out <laughs> as well as we would have liked so our baby is going to be born here which is not ideal but is absolutely fine and i just want to show you how we are setting ourselves up for it i want to have a home birth that's the idea that's the plan but obviously baby is gonna come however she wants to come so you know if that's what she chooses is right for us great if not if we need to go to the hospital we're just 10 minutes away so i want to give birth in a birthing pool which we have is currently stored away we're gonna take it out as soon as labor starts ruben has been practicing <laughs> and just making sure that he's familiar with how long it takes to blow it up um how to connect to taps and things like that so that's his job to do so that's going to go into the living room we're not going to actually set it up just yet but i just want to show you how we're going to make it feel cozy warm inviting just so it's um relaxing and comfortable space for me to get into that mindset to give birth in the meantime what i want to show you is what i've packed in each individual room um because everything has a purpose everything has a function right now this room is going to be my bedroom and our baby's bedroom this is because upon recommendation from our uh, midwives it's probably better as i'm planning to breastfeed for me to take care of all of the night feeds and that is to make sure that my milk supply remains constant and remains plentiful and that can only really happen if i'm the one feeding our baby on demand as in when they need it so ruben is going to sleep in a second bedroom which I'm going to show you in a second because we had to obviously set that one up too. Um, and this is what is going to sit on my bedside table. So what we've got here, we've got some very important nappies. Um, we also have some baby wipes. These are water-based. I'm going to link everything down below. I just wanted to make sure that whatever we buy is as environmentally uh, sustainable as possible so i did as much research as i could and this is what i landed on then we have nappy cream and we've got a couple of bits for me um, that are going to be very helpful um, as i step into breastfeeding so we've got some nipple balm to nourish you know tender nipples because i understand that is a common problem then we've got nipple compressors uh, these came highly recommended they're essentially some soothing pads that you pop onto your nipple probably once you've put the balm on and um it's very soothing and nourishing and then we've got some disposable nursing pads again I'm, i've chosen the disposable option to start with just to get me going um but essentially this is to avoid milk leaking into bras um and things like that and once i'm kind of settled then i will move on to uh, non-disposable ones but this is just to get us started so this is the bare minimum the bare essentials i have by my bedside table the other thing i have is the hacker pump so there's actually two in here so you've got the standard pump which you flip over like that squeeze pop onto the boob and it just catches milk this is quite helpful as you're breastfeeding on one side this is quite helpful to catch any letdown on the other side and the same goes for 
this one here this doesn't provide any suction whilst this one does so this one just comfortably sits onto your boob and collects any let down without actually um, sucking anything out and then you can collect the milk pop it into a bag put it in the fridge or the freezer and basically have it available if needed also you can't see this but I'm <laughs> hooked up to this machine this is a tens machine which I'm going to be using in labor to manage discomfort this takes advantage of electric pulses and it's connected through some cables to some electrodes which are stuck currently on my back and it sends electricity uh, waves to my back in certain patterns and it really helps produce endorphins which is the natural pain relief hormone so brilliant i'm currently using it not because i'm in labor but because my back is really saw very very helpful little tool this is gonna come with me wherever I go and certainly is going to be essential during labor so now let's move on to a few more things right next to the dapper changing and nursing station we've got a nursing pillow this is from the brand that's mine and is completely adjustable which is great absolutely lovely then we have a changing mat from the brand Linda I think that's how you pronounce it which is wipeable over to this side we've got a nappy bin this in particular is a dapper genie this is meant to trap odors and do so very effectively so fingers crossed that's the case and then over to this side we've got our bedside crib by snooze pod this one we were quite uh, intrigued by because the sides can easily come down meaning that you have direct access to baby overnight to feed or get them changed which is very very convenient and it also rocks which is a very lovely feature so I did mention that Ruben was going to sleep in a separate bedroom. This is just to make sure that at least he will get some Z's whilst I take care of the night feeds. However, we do have to make sure that he's got everything that he needs throughout the day to take care of baby as well. So with that in mind, we've got a type of changing station in his room as well, which comprises of nappies, again our trusted baby wipes and nappy cream as well very simple over to this side we've got a couple of extra bits but this is not really for baby this is more for me in preparation for labor and postpartum there's a bunch of random stuff so first of all um we've got the tense machine pouch over here readily available as and when i need it then we've got the epino the epino was recommended by my hypnobirthing teacher as well as my midwives and it's a great tool to basically train your perineum to stretch and relax during birth obviously as we know during birth we do need that area to be very supple and very stretchy so this is a great tool to do that then we have src recovery shorts i've seen loads of people use these and swear by them they provide support to the core and they make basically lifting feeding taking care of baby and just everyday life a little bit more comfortable as we recover post birth and then lastly we've got my trusted <laughs> support band bump band whatever you want to call it um which i have been using as and when my back pain flares up which is basically all of the time so this currently sits over there now this is a very very important part of preparing for birth and postpartum and that is the snack station so here we have a basket packed with all of the snackies we've got some like fresh lovely sourdough bread and the idea is to really make sure that whatever our needs whether it's the midwives mine or Rubens we're all covered so we've got the snackies here and we've got a ton of fresh fruit as well and we also have the drink station with a kettle 
we've got some teas and coffees out there so we are all prepped this is where the pool is gonna go um, I need to ta actually take care of this pile of laundry. We washed all of baby's clothes. Just need to fold them, put them away. But essentially the pool is gonna be inflated here. We're going to probably have some curtain fairy lights hanging from, from the ceiling um, out there. We just really want to create this like cozy environment. And I mean, fairy, fairy lights are perfect for that. We've got some LED candles. We've got the fireplace going. And here we've got another little basket with some bits and pieces that we need to set up. So some very important command hooks to set up the fairy lights. We've got also these LED tea lights that we're going to scatter all around we've got my film camera which i'm going to teach our midwives to use to take some snaps of us um at birth we've got a hot water bottle in case we need it and this is the pump for uh, my bathing ball which is hiding right right behind the um clothes area we also have <laughs> these floating tea lights which we're going to put in the birthing pool. These are some, some fairy lights which we're going to put between the pool and the liner that goes outside it to protect it. Again, um, trialed and tested or safe. And then we're probably going to scatter around some birth affirmation cards and then here we've got a very disorganized bunch of oils that we're going to use into this diffuser. I also have a couple of combs which I know are very helpful uh, during surges. Holding these one in each hand during surges is very very helpful to manage discomfort. <laughs> There's two more things I want to show you. So I've got two baskets that will live in the bathroom. One of them is for me and I'm gonna take you through it right now. The other one is for baby. So this is the essential caretaking kit that I think I will need post birth and it includes disposable underwear, which I understand is critical to manage, you know, discharges postpartum and to make sure that I'm comfortable and I don't ruin my own underwear. Some actual adult nappies. Again, these are all disposable not super environmentally friendly but at least for the very beginning i just needed something that i knew worked and was easy for me to manage so we've got some disposable adult nappies as well then we have some maternity pads which we're going to line my underwear with i've also got this post birth relief pad which can be cooled down or warmed up depending on the needs typically postpartum you will want to pop this in the freezer for a few hours and then uh, place it in a sleeve and then onto your underwear to cool down the area which has obviously gone through quite a lot then we've got a post birth wash bottle this can be filled up with warm water and then once you've been to the bathroom you can squeeze it in the perineal area to provide some further relief. Then I also have some witch hazel pads which are known to be very very soothing to the skin. They can be placed between the maternity pads and the skin to provide a little bit of soothing relief. The other thing is this postpartum bath soak which includes very soothing herbs and it can be used in what is called a sits bath. What is a sits bath, you may ask? This is the kind of stuff I've had to learn <laughs> that I had no idea really existed. So this is a sits bath which sits on a toilet bowl. You fill it up with water which you add your bath soak to and what it does really, it just helps soothe sore muscle and tissue and the idea is just to let it really infuse into your skin to make you feel a little bit better so that was my basket now we have also baby's basket 
for the bathroom. We have hair and body wash as well as lotion. We also have a temperature gauge to check on the temperature of bath water. And then I've got a bunch of other gadgets and things that I know we will need eventually at some point. We've got a, an ear thermometer, baby nail trimmer, snot sucker. Very sexy stuff, as you as you can see. I'm not sure if this is comprehensive enough, but I think as a starting kit, it probably has all the key elements covered. Please tell me if I've forgotten anything major. In terms of hospital bag, obviously my plan is to give birth at home, but let's be honest, let's be real, sometimes that might not be actually possible when the time comes. So I will need to pack a hospital bag, which I haven't done yet. However, it's going to include a combination of all of the items that you've seen. And I just want to run you through the list that I've made for myself, because there's really three people that we're packing for over here. Myself, Ruben and Baby. So for myself, nipple compressors, nipple cream and nursing pads, as well as disposable underwear. Most of the time, hospitals will provide all of that, but just in case, I'll probably pack a couple of bits here and there just to be on the safe side. Then some toiletries, slippers, my eye mask, earplugs, earphones, then some clothes. So my nursing bra, some underwear, and then trackies, sweatshirts, nightgown, that kind of stuff. Can you actually tell that I'm out of breath? Whew, really struggling. Then for Ruben, toiletries, a change of clothes, slippers, eye mask, earplug, some sort of entertainment, snacks, and very importantly, a water bottle. For baby, baby wipes, baby nappies. Again, this will likely be provided by the hospital, but there's no harm in bringing just a few of these items just to be safe. Nappy cream, soft blanket, some clothing for baby to change into. And then I've included some items labeled extra bits. And this includes my affirmation cards, uh, the diffuser with the essential oils, speakers, my camera with a tripod because I would like to record some bits of birth, my TENS machine, and then my hot water bottle if I need it. So that's really what I'm going for. So generally speaking, I feel relatively ready, shall we say, um, for this baby to come. I'm currently in week 39. Baby seems to be ready to come. Uh, she's in position. She's like, knock, knock, knock. You guys ready for me? Because I'm basically ready. I think what's happening here, she's waiting for me to settle a little bit more, calm down a little bit more, recover from this flu I've, I've caught last week. And then yeah, she'll probably be here in no time. So will this be the last video of me pregnant? Will the next video be with me and baby? Probably. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. Probably that's going to be the case. I'm going to link everything that I mentioned down below in case it helps anyone. I hope you found this useful. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Take care and see you next time.